John McKegg with JesusChristTrust.net. Okay, let's get into another video here. Climate change, right? Long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. Everything's going to shift at some point. Did you know that? Okay, I think I've mentioned that too. So what does climate change cc what you see is cc what does that mean well according to pythagorean numerology cc is 33 right so what are they saying with climate change climate change is merely what i've been telling you right judgment day is coming in 10 years climate change cc 33 2033 is coming be ready you know we're gonna it's going to burn, it's going to, all the plagues, all the, everything is coming. You know, don't forget, uh, never forget, right? 9-11, never forget. That's what, that's what's coming. That's the climate change, and they know it. And so they're like, uh, how can we make climate change? How can we make, how can we get some money up on this judgment day, right? <laughs> how can we make some money on that thing? <laughs> can you imagine? Right, because... Let's just say most, you know, things that move, you know, like ships and planes and helicopters and uh, trains and all, they all use, what, air as fuel, right? They use turbines. And so making electricity, right? They use a the turbine. So they're like, how can we make money off of this climate change? Because all your electricity and, and all your travel is, you know, except for maintenance and stuff like that, is basically free because there's no energy. And the engines just don't wear out. You know, if they're running on air or turbine, it doesn't wear out. No wear happens, basically. You know, it's very unusual. So it's very inexpensive to uh, run a turbine, you know. It just is. It run on air. So they're charging us for free energy, have been all the whole time. And, uh, but... They're like, you know, they're not going to control us or have us spend money and stuff like that on stuff. And, you know, it's not the spending of money. It's the working to do it and keeping us busy and also physically limited, right? Oh, if you got to work all the time, you can't get on a plane and go anywhere and see what's really going on and notice the pattern in planes. Like, you know, you can't fly from continent to continent Right? You can't fly from like North America to Europe or North America to Asia. You can't do that except at night time because you would fly by the center point, right? Which is where the devil runs its kingdom from, the center point. If you if you had a circular prison that you ran, right? You run it from the center point, obviously. Right, the North Pole, Santa and the Evils, Satan and the Evils, right? Santa and the Elves. That's where they are at the center point. That's why they don't want you to see it. And they know, you know, that the climate in the dome is gonna change. <laughs> Thirty-three climate change. Uh oh, don't forget. And they're like, well, let's make some money on this. Let's control them off of this. You see, with their whole little financial wizardry. Okay, so that's the climate change hoax. It's Judgment Day, 2033, and they know it. They all know. They all know. They all know. Do you respect your adversaries enough to know what you're up against, to see the truth, and to see how much you have to overcome to beat them? They have so much. They have so much control, right? They have a whole nother... They have, you know, the signs and symbol language they speak in, which you don't even... Never even got mentioned to you, and it's been around you the whole time. And you've never even seen what they speak in. Come on. You gotta wise up now, people. Please. Judgment Day is coming. I mean, climate change, right? Climate change is coming. 